Hey, it's Christopher Grubb with House Tipster. We are in Las Vegas at the World Market. I came to the Paragon showroom to find Libby to be our guest trend spotter. And you have a collection that's going to be coming out with them. Yes, I'm so excited. I'm glad we started here. Um, it's going to launch in October in High Point, And I'm just thrilled to be working with Paragon. They're amazing. Yeah, they have great stuff. Let's start in here. What's been a standout at the show for you? You know, what I feel like I'm seeing is I'm seeing big, bold artwork. This piece is 57 inches by 75 inches. And I think what's fun is consumers are now seeing that they can take chances with something big and bold big scale, it really adds drama to a space and makes it feel a little more designed. One big piece can offer a lot of impact and I feel like it can also take furniture and items you already have and make them look completely different. I agree completely. Okay, can I steal you? Let's yes, go look for some more let's things. let's go check All it right. out. <laughs> I brought you to the Americana showroom because there's some great trends I really think you should check out. All right, out. show me. Let's check them okay, out. Okay, so what I'm loving right now is a natural wood, but with some black undertones. I think we're going to be seeing that a lot. Um, oxidized oak, ceruzed oak. What does ceruzed mean for people that aren't designers? Okay, ceruzed is when you actually wet oak wood or ash wood. It swells the grain of the wood. You then put in a white paste, and over that you do a stain. So you have a little bit of an underlying white kind of graining, but it really highlights the wood and it's a beautiful treatment. And yeah, that, that hand, it's beautiful. It's amazing. It's beautiful, beautiful. This is another trend we are going to see happening. I think it's going to explode caning. It's something that I think we think of as traditional southern sort of country flair, but I think we're going to start to see it in modern, fresh applications. I, I've been seeing it. You're right. Modern, different weaves that are much more contemporary and don't feel that traditional. Right. So I'm right. going to interrupt you as yes. a trend spotter because you brought up black. When you brought me in the showroom, what's interesting, I just did it in a project in LA, a black feature wall, just a black feature wall or black room. And we were covering surfaces, Tice, before. Right. Like Emily Morrow has this black floor, oh. the hardwood I'd love to use on a project. Amazing. So what do you think of it as a, as a statement, as a design statement? I think it's an amazing design statement. I think what's great is isolating it to one wall. And then I think the next step of that is making sure that you get items up on the wall. Artwork, they have sort of industrial kind of mirrors here, but you need something to break up that color and it's gonna add depth and dimension. But I think it's powerful and I also think it's very, very chic. Good, okay, well, I want you to take me somewhere because there's always the discussion on the color trend. So do you have a place in mind? Yes, let's go to All four right. hands. All right, let's okay. do that. Okay, okay perfect. All right, Libby, so I brought up color. You brought me to the forehand showroom. All of us designers, what color? What color's trendy? What are we going to see in new? I think I want to tell you, you're going to see neutrals. We're seeing sort of oatmeal colors. That's sort of almost like light mocha sort of color. I think, you know, we've talked about it before. A lot of times the economy steers us in a palette of neutrals, and it's a little bit surprising that it's come this quickly. It, it's surprising it's this quick. There's yeah. a lot at the show. And I think what we're seeing is people are still accepting accessorizing with color, artwork, rugs, things like that. But we're seeing neutrals. Well, and I'm going to say your dress, though, is one of the colors. We're seeing muted colors. Yeah. Would you agree? It's these muted I kind think of so, sophisticated. That kind of tobacco leaf, olive, you know, Dark a blues. teal, but it's muted. It's quiet. They're rich colors, but they are muted. They're just a little toned down. All right, Libby, thanks for being our guest trend spotter. My pleasure. I loved everything that we saw, and I can't wait to start to see it hit the marketplace. Well, and subscribe to House Tipster because thumbs up, thumbs down. Tell us if you agree with these trends. Are we going to see them? Would you use them? Not really. And we'll be back at High Point Market. Stay tuned. All right. Thanks so much, everybody.